Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to the Shiny Record channel. Now, before we even go through this deck profile, which is Odd Eyes, um, I just have to talk about the tournament yesterday. I did really well for myself. I still top 8, even though as I made top 8, I dropped out. I lost the spirals. They were just doing spiral things and I just didn't have anything to stop them in game 3. Open double sphere mode, there's nothing I could do. Absolutely nothing. Um, so I lost that, fair and square. Now, I only lost the Alta guys in Swiss before I top. I lost the two Alta guys. But Alta guys, I just don't know what to do about that deck. I sided nine cards for them, just not drawing them. And even when I draw them, they still go around. I, I just don't know what to do about them. So, you guys in the comment section can tell me what to do about them. I have no clue. Then, moving on. First one up, I uh, assume everyone knows every single card in this deck. And so I don't have to explain the effects but before even that um, the deck is extremely cheap I assume it's like a hundred dollar US or probably less so anyone can pick up this deck It's really fun really easy to use you use every single summon in mechanic in the game so it you have a wide variety of plays to make and that's what I really like about pendulums now why you could play this over pendulum magician is that the monsters are more beefy hit harder and you don't have to worry about OTK opponent the game does not pass game 3 for you um, apologies turn three for you because your monsters are heavy they're going to hit hard um, so first of all we have triple all might two young Bakugo um, one young Midoriya you must play him have to um, he's your only monster that can be normal someone that's a searchable other eyes cards and the reason why I bring this up is because most people main deck anti spell and one of your old tweet is spiral flame strike in the main deck now if you don't even have that you can always use double iris and search for this so you can activate the spell flame strike and if you wonder why does it important because if anti spell is up you cannot activate scales so that means that you'd have to have an other monster on the field the only one that can be summoned is this card so i bring it up to you then we have one phantom you don't need more than one he has a very good effect um three persona and one dissolver let me tell you something when i build decks they are build more versatile they don't rely on one strategy and you can do many different things and you can hold any form of board now i bring this up because yesterday ultimate falcon was on the field and it was extremely hard to get rid of i wasn't playing this deck i was playing straight magicians but the point remains that any deck i build can cross those cards so you don't have to worry about that when you build the decks and i'll show you which cards can cross them first of all you could do this put this in scale pump up your monster and kick it down but there are other things. If a monster is unaffected by effects, you can't just attack it off. If it can be destroyed by card effects, there are a lot of card effects in the deck to destroy monsters. If it can't be destroyed by card effects, you can summon Iggy Azalea, bounce it back in. There are a lot of ways to deal with cards. Um, then we have Triple Corona, One Time Gazel, Triple Dark Worm, Two Gate Zero, Triple Master Cerberus, Shout out to Tassif, because he's the one who gave me these. Two jackal and that's it for your engine starters you just give you a free special summon so you can get into your electromite at the start of the turn then we have two effect velo as our only hand drops we can't play a lot and you can't afford to play a lot and the reason why is they have to draw your appropriate scales and i mean this because you might not be able to pendulum someone if you're there drawing hand traps and even if you're able to pendulum someone you might not be able to pendulum someone anything important that happened to me before in a tournament and then for the spells we have Triple Sky Iris, Triple Spiral Flame, Triple Duelist Alliance. You cannot, and I mean you cannot complain about searching for your other ice cards. You have you have nine search cards. Then we have two shrine, foolish. That means he should find a dark worm at the start of duel. And then for the last two cards is two called by the grave. Which is really good for you and it slows down the hand traps. I would love to play three, but as I said to you, you can't play that many cards that don't help you to combo off because if you're stuck with a deck, you trust me, you're stuck because all these monsters are very high level. You're not summoning anything for that turn if you if you don't find scales. And we're moving on. For the extra deck, we have two Vortex, Obito, the original Uchiha. Um, if you don't know what this card does, Starving Venom, Fusion Dragon, I'm going to explain the effects. It's really good. First of all, when you fusion summon it, it gains the attack of a monster 
on your opponent's side of the field, I was special summon. The Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon. You can gain that attack even though it's unaffected by your card effect because that doesn't affect you, their monster, it affects yours, it affects this card. So you can pump yourself all the way up to, let's say, 6300. And then after that, it has a next effect to gain the effect of a monster on the field. Right? So you can copy any monster. Now, don't think you can do FTKs with this because it copies the monster on your opponent's side of the field. And then after all this, if it's destroyed, it destroys all special summon monsters on your opponent's side of the field. So you get a lot of mileage out of this card. Then we have Tokyo Ghoul as our last fusion. Um, Gatling Ghoul is no card to laugh at. First of all, on summon, you just say effect. It does not target. It does 200 damage for every single card on the field. Then you destroy a monster on your opponent's side of the field and they take damage to that monster's original attack. Full stop. That was one effect. Wow. And then on top of all that, it can still attack. So it makes Volcosaurus look like a little child. Then for Synchros, we have Dedar. Well, Young Bakugo now. Very important card. Um, the next thing I want to bring up with this, because most people don't know, you can summon it back from the grave by attributing two Supreme King monsters or gates. You might not know that, but it comes up. It might not blow the field and ragged kid when you summon it from the grave that way. However, in time, you can attack, destroy an opponent monster with its effect before damage calculation, and inflict damage to their attack. So if you need a cheap way to win, there it goes. And by the way, you should do this in main phase, Gatling Ghoul. You have to play him because of the new rules in time. You summon this and you win the duel. Because you have to do damage to so your opponent doesn't have to control a card for you to use this effect. You can do damage to your own cards on the field, which should be at least six hundred, because you should be able to have this on two scales. Then we have Iggy Azalea, or is our last synchro. Everybody knows Iggy does. Then we have Dweller, Dank Rebellion, Nagata the Moral Leader, Mangekyo Sharingan, Absolute. That's it for your XC. Then we have Underclock, you must play him due to um Corrupted Imbley. You do, if you get that card, you're probably in a lot of trouble because you have to link it away or you might not be able to summon. Your next option is drawing Sky Iris and destroying it, but you know, you don't have to draw it. Electromite, really good card. You don't need multiple in this deck. That's a real good thing about it. So the deck is very budget. Then Deco Talker, good card. And Megatron. Uh, one thing I'd like to say about the deck, I wish we had. All the cards that are in OCG. If we had all the cards that are in OCG right now, they could have been so good. Like top tier good. Trap Eater. Triple Denko. Effect fail. Um first thing I like to bring up Denko, which I did side for Alta guys, did not help much. First of all, if it wasn't solemn, it got Chaos Trap Hole. And if you don't know what Chaos Trap Hole does, it's solemn but it banishes the monster. And then on top of all that, the Alta guys have their own unique way to get rid of it by summoning their little win one that bounces cards to the hand, so they bounce it back and you lose your normal summon for the turn. So Denko is not really a good way to deal with them. Then we have Call by the Grave, Triple Mirror Force, which I'm going to take out. I don't have any deck right now that I should fear in terms of attack strength wise. Then we have Triple Heavy Storm Duster. And triple rivalry. Um, if you guys know a way I can deal with Alter guys easily with a card effect, you should tell me. I don't know. Just tell me in the comment section, and you know I'm very active there. As long as you comment, I will respond. So thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Have a great day.